So, I was just at Starbucks picking up my half cap, no whip, almond granola latte when I noticed the most disturbing thing. The barista that handed me my drink was definitely most likely a uh, conservative. After promptly throwing away my drink that was absolutely, probably poison, I decided to make this list to help others avoid situations like mine. Here are some warning signs that your Starbucks barista is conservative. They only wear one pride pin. Doing the bare minimum, it's like they, them, doesn't even care about LGBTQ plus rights. They have fewer than 13 piercings. Also, be on the lookout for natural colored hair. It's a dead giveaway. They don't roll around on the ground and scream maniacally like a banshee at the mere mention of Trump's name, like a normal person would. Okay, trigger warning. This next one is really scary. They use the conservative code words, Merry Christmas. It's like a modern day secret Nazi handshake. Ugh. They give a knowing nod to anyone who orders black coffee, the official drink of red-pilled cis males. I didn't even know Starbucks sold black coffee. They spell names correctly. <laughs> this is a sure sign of a right-wing homeschool education, but just because they can spell does not mean that they're not a fascist. They won't let transients defecate on the restroom walls. Where do they want them to go? The toilet? This is oppression. If your barista exhibits any of these signs, take the drink and throw it directly into their ugly Ronald Reagan loving face. And then get them fired, of course. <laughs> Are there any other warning signs we may have missed? Leave them down in the comment section below. And remember, love is love. Did you just watch a video from the Babylon Bee? Then you are part of the problem. I'll bet you're gonna like, comment, subscribe, and hit that little bell button too, aren't you? You are a cisgendered, heteronormative aggressor. You are perpetuating problematic, toxic ideas of Anglo-normativity. 